It is not the movement of the clock that produces the newness of life. It is the movement in your mind. You're going to hear all kinds of things said about you. Throw it behind you. The enemies that you see today, you will see them no more. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises against you, God will condemn. This is my time. So the matter is everybody in here is going through a change. You don't have to be ashamed of yours. We are all in the process of transforming to a higher, better expression of myself. Let this be the year that I birth a higher, better expression of myself. Don't let the habits of my past Stop me from this metamorphosis. New year, new me. New year, new me. What separates us is transformation. The possibility of change. The desire to evolve the passion to get up off the ground and stop eating dirt. I'm, I'm tired of doing what I used to do. If I always do what I've always done, I'll always be where I've always been. I'm gonna throw it behind me. There's somebody in this room that, that nobody would think would be in a church tonight, but you drew them to this place tonight because you want them to be a new me and a new year and have a new attitude and a new mind because the real battleground is in your mind. That's where the fight is. You lay down with it. You get up with it. You go to work with it. You can't digest your food because of it. Smiling in front of people and nobody knows that there's gunfire going off in your head. It's not a geographical location. It's not debt. It's not money. It's not haters. It's not enemies. It's not liars. It's not backbiters. That's not the battleground. Stop wasting your weapons on what people say because it is not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. I dedicate this to you, to the greatness in you and to the dream that you showed up on the planet to produce. And it's simply this, if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold, poverty, famish or gulf, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim, you besiege and beset it. With the help of God, you'll get you it. You have greatness in you. What I'm trying to tell you, beloved, is that you can have a new year. But it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. I'm telling you that you can buy a new car. But if you put the old man in a new car, you still want to have the old experience. I'm telling you that a new house doesn't make a new marriage. I'm talking about a new outfit doesn't make you a new person. And if you think you are magically going to be a new person, I hate to be the bearer of bad news because new life comes from a new mind and a new way of looking at your life. I cannot step into the future and still think in my past. I cannot let the rumors
rumors and the stain of what they said about me destroy my opportunity. Slap somebody and tell them I gotta kill it tonight. I gotta destroy it tonight. I gotta get rid of it tonight. I gotta throw it behind me tonight. I can't drag that same old mess into another year.